My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, peace for the Lord be with you. This year, the Pope has declared it, and especially the month of October, the Extraordinary Missionary Month. And so, many things are going to happen in our church to bring us to realize, to the realization, that the church is mission and at the same time missionary. Remember Jesus' command, go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe my commandments. When Jesus gave this command, he gave it to you and to me. In Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Jesus gave this command to the apostles. He gave it to the church, which is you and me. And also the evening of the resurrection. In the Gospel according to John, when Jesus breathed on the apostles and then said, Greater them, peace be with you. He says, As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. So you and I baptized and faithful of the church, we are all sent on mission, a mandate given us by Christ Jesus. This year, the Pope has declared October the Extraordinary Missionary Month, that all of us baptized and faithful of the church must come to the realization that the church we belong to is mission, the church we belong to is missionary. Uh, we celebrate Mission Sunday every year in October. On this day, Mission Sunday, we pray for the church. We pray for that consciousness of mission for every member of the church. And we also do special collection for the church. This collection is taken to Rome and given to uh, the church in need, to different parts of the world, different places, uh, in, the, in this world where the church is carrying out its missionary activity. This year, as I mentioned, declared the Extraordinary Missionary Month in order to celebrate, first of all, a great letter written by one of the popes in 1919. And that set up the propagation of the faith. And so since that time, uh, we have been making collections and this collection also, in fact, it goes and comes back to us because we are one of the churches in need. The theme, especially for this year, chosen, is baptized and sent the Church of Christ on mission to the world. And it has two goals. First, in order to foster awareness of the missionary dimension of the church among the faithful, that Christ's faithful are all missionaries. Again, you and I are missionaries. And secondly, to support, to animate and support missionary activities of the church. How do we support missionary activities of the church? For this, we do special collection in order to, to help the missionary works of the church. On the part of the Archdiocese, we have put together a committee, a committee put in place to organize and oversee the celebrations that are going to take place in this extraordinary missionary month. This committee will come out with a program how we are going to launch the extraordinary missionary month and then how, what type of activities are going to be carried out during this whole month and then the closure also. Uh, remember that this committee sooner or later come out this, with this program that will be shared with every member of the church it will be shared with all the parishes. The 1st of October, Tuesday, is already set aside as the day we are going to launch this missionary month. And the activity is going to take place at Christ the King Parish. And the program will eventually come out. And as I mentioned, it's not a time to talk about all the programs, but to let you know that something special is happening to our church. Something special is happening to you and to me. And eventually, to go, you go through the whole program and then uh, come up also to the very closure of it. The committee will eventually publish the program that will be taking place 
in the Archdiocese of Accra and especially in our parishes. For this reason, there will be special collections. The Bishop's Conference has requested that uh, three times in the month of October, three Sundays, there will be a second collection and these collections will be put together and sent to Rome to support the missionary activities of the church. I mentioned already that every year until now we do just one collection on Mission Sunday and this collection is take, put together and sent to Rome. This year your bishops uh, say that we have to triple the money we sent to Rome because uh, what we send there and what, what we get, nothing to compare. You know, so this year we're going to uh, do our best, extraordinarily best, to triple our collection or even, um, uh, even more than that so that we can send it to Rome for the, to support the missionary activities of the church. Remember, Paul, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, asked the people to organize collections to support the poor church in Jerusalem. Churches that are poor need our support. And it is the whole wild world that is mission, where the church is present. We too, in our small way, will contribute to helping the proclamation of the word of God in all these places through our collections. And so again, instead of just one collection, during the month of October, it's going to be three collections. Your parish priest will come out to the program when to do the collections. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, this is, October is the extraordinary missionary month. It cannot just come and go. You and I should get involved to acquire the graces that God himself uh, uh, puts at our disposal during the, this extraordinary missionary month so that we all build in us that uh, recognition that through our baptism, we have been sent on mission. Through our baptism, we have become missionaries. And that is why I have this singular privilege to launch this extraordinary missionary month. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>